Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is a squared, this is equal to b plus 111 and then we have b squared, this is equal to a plus 111 so let's, let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2 so from here, the first step from here, let's, let's solve for a and b and given that a is not equal to 0, b is not equal to 0 and that a is not equal to b. So let's prevent the solution from here. Let's prevent the solution from here. So the first step here is to subtract equation 1 with equation 2. So this implies that we have a squared subtract b squared. This is equal to, this is a plus this is the same thing as b plus 111 then subtract a plus 111 so this is a squared minus b squared this is equal to b plus 111 minus a then subtract 111 so 111 and 111 simplifies so that's a squared minus b squared this is the same thing as b minus a the next step is to take b minus a on the left hand side so that now we have a squared minus b squared then subtract b minus a this is equal to zero so here we have a squared minus b squared then subtract b minus times minus a this is plus a this is equal to zero so here we have a squared minus b squared then plus a minus b this is equal to zero so a squared minus b squared this is in the form of x squared minus y squared which is the difference of two squares which can be expressed as x plus y x minus y so applying this identity then here we have a plus b and then we have a minus b then plus a minus b this is equal to zero a minus b here is common so we can factor out a minus b so that into the parentheses we have a plus b then plus one cross the parentheses this is equal to zero we have two parts here the first part is a minus b this is equal to 0. The second part here is a plus b, then plus 1. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that a minus b is equal to 0. So this implies that a is equal to b. And this actually violates the condition that a is not equal to b. We have that a is not equal to b. So this implies that from here, the first part here is rejected. So this part is rejected. Let's proceed with the second part here. We have a plus b. Let's take plus 1 on the right hand side. So this is equal to minus 1. Let's call this equation 3. Now the, the next step from here, let's add, let's add equation 1 with equation 2 so we have a squared plus b squared this is the same thing as here we have b plus 111 plus a plus 111 so here we have a squared plus b squared this is equal to a plus b 111 plus 111 this is equal to 22 so we have a plus b is what we have in equation 3. Equation 3 a plus b is equal to minus 1. So this implies that a squared plus b squared, this is equal to minus 1 plus 2, 22. So that now a squared plus b squared, this is equal to minus 1 plus 2, 22. This is equal to 2, 21. 
Let's call this equation 4 from here. Now, the next step from here, from equation 3, which is a plus b, this is equal to minus 1. Let's square both signs from here. Let's square both signs. So that now, a plus b squared, this is in the form of x plus y raised to the power of 2, which we can express as x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have a squared plus b squared, then plus 2ab. This is equal to minus 1 squared, and this is equal to 1. So that a squared plus b squared, this is what we have in equation 4, which is 221. Let's substitute this. So 221 plus 2ab, this is equal to 1. So let's take 221 on the right hand side so that we have 2ab, this is equal to 1 minus 221. So this implies that 2ab, this is equal to 1 minus 221 and this is minus 220. So let's divide here by 2 and also here by 2. So that now we have that ab is equal to, this is negative 110. So we have negative 110. So from here, let's make A to be the subject to the formula. So let's divide both signs by B. So that now, A is equal to negative 110 over B. The next step is to substitute A into equation 3. Remember equation 3 is A plus B. This is equal to minus 1. So let's substitute A, which is minus 110 over B plus B. This is equal to minus 1. Since B is a whole number, so this is over 1. And minus 1 is a whole number, so this is over 1. So let's multiply both signs by B. So we have times B here, times B, and also here times B. So that now, if we simplify here, so multiplying both signs by b here, we have that here we have minus 110, then plus b times b, this is b squared, this is equal to minus 1 times b, this is minus b. Let's take minus b on the left hand side, so here we have b squared plus b, then minus 110, this is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation, and we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. Such that now, the product here is equal to minus 110, the sum here is equal to 1. So let's identify these two factors, and these two factors, we have 11 and minus 10. So that if you say 11b, minus 10 b this is the same thing as b okay so then 11 times minus 10 this is equal to minus 110 so let's substitute this so that now we have b squared um plus 11 b subtract 10 b subtract 110 this is equal to zero so we have two parts here we have two parts here from the first part here, b is common, we can factor out b, so that now, into the parentheses, we have b plus 11, cross the parentheses, then subtract, 10 is common here, so we can factor out 10, so that now, we have here, b plus 11, this is equal to 0. So we have that b plus 11 is common here, we can factor out b plus 11, and then we have b minus 10, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is b plus 11, this is equal to 0. The second part is b minus 10, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, b1 is equal to minus 11, 
The second part here, B2 is equal to 10. So we have the two values of B, B1 and B2. So the next step is to solve for corresponding values of A1 and A2. So if you recall, we end that A is equal to minus 110 divided by B. So let's start with A1 from here. Let's start with A1. Now given that A is equal to minus 110 over B, then this implies that A1 is equal to minus 110 divided by B1. B1 is minus 11 from here. So if you simplify here, we have that A1, A1 is equal to 10. So therefore, we have the first set of solution, A1, comma, B1, and this is equal to 10, comma, minus 11. So this is the first set of solution that we have. The second set of solution, let's solve for A2, which is minus 110, divided by A2, which is, I mean, B2, which is equal to 10. If we simplify here, we have that A2 is equal to minus 11. So the second set of solution is A2, comma, B2, and this is equal to minus 11 and 10. So this is the second set of solution from here. So let's verify that these two set of solutions, A1, B1, and A2, B2, satisfies the equation. Let's verify from here. Now, from equation 1, which is A squared, this is equal to B plus 111. This is equation 1. Equation 2 is B squared. This is equal to A plus 111. So let's substitute A1, B1 into equation 1. So we have A1. This is actually 10 squared. This is equal to minus 11 plus 111. So this is the same thing as 10 squared. This is 100. And this is equal to minus 11 plus 111. This is 100. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that A1, B1 satisfies the equation. Now let's check A2, B2 from here by equation 2. We have that B2 is 10. So we have 10 squared. This is 10 squared. This is equal to a plus 111. Remember A is minus 11, then plus 111. So therefore we have 10 squared, this is 100, and this is equal to minus 11 plus 111, this is 100. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that A2, B2 also satisfies the equation. So Kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. If you have alternative methods to solve this, kindly don't hesitate to showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video.